What's up guys, it's Jimmy once again. Today, we're back in my favorite game of all time, Sims 4, glad to be back. It's been some time. I know I've got some fans eagerly awaiting the next big installment of this series, and uh, so here we go. Arguably a little bit later at night than I should be, so I'm gonna be keeping it the volume level a little bit down, hopefully a little less screaming. Uh, hopefully, I'll have sorted out this face cam make it a little bit smaller, but yeah. Today, we are, we are gonna make, we're gonna make a goblin. That's what I think my newest plan is gonna be. We're gonna lock him up in the basement, and we're gonna basically, we're gonna let, we're gonna let him do whatever he wants. We're gonna make him make art. Now, it looks like we're gonna have to turn him into a vampire. Goblins have, yeah, something like that. That's what we're going for. Alright, skinny. He's, he's gonna be a skinny goblin with big old ears, but pointy. They gotta be real pointy ears. Yes. His mouth, gonna be a weird goblin mouth. What do goblins look like? I don't know. I haven't seen a goblin in 10 years. At least not in the real world. Our goblin's gonna be a uh, bolded man. Gonna have a big old goblin nose. Yes, look at him. Oh my goodness, yes. That's the kind of goblin I'm looking for. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Now, as a goblin, he, he really just wants to be kept alone. He doesn't, he doesn't want, he doesn't want friends, he doesn't want to go outside, he just wants to sit at home and, uh, and paint. That's all he wants to do. He's always sad. <laughs> He's always alone. And I guess he can talk to himself, why not, yeah. Anyway, here's our goblin, we're gonna call him... Glebo Franklin. I don't know anymore. I'm just, I'm really trying. I'm trying my hardest here. Here's our goblin friend. Man, he already looks sad. That's great. Probably because he's burning to death in the, in the sunlight because he's a goblin. And everyone knows goblins can't go outside at night. There we are. He basically lives in squalor. We're only gonna really provide him with the bare essentials, you know. A small bed. Like, he can cook, but like, he's gotta cook right next to, like, just his house and like, where he sleeps and stuff. Cause we don't need a microwave, right? I know I do. If there's one thing I think I could never have lived without, with, through my time, Probably a microwave. How often do I have popcorn? Daily, twice daily. My doctor is furious, but what's he gonna do about it? I've got popcorn, you know? Okay, this looks sad, but I think that's really what we're going for here. Now we're gonna give him an easel. Because he's, he's our artistic little goblin, you know? He can't, he can't not be artistic. That's all he's allowed to do, I think. Here he is, his first painting, wow. We're gonna hang this one up, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Wow, that looks like trash. Straight up onto the wall. Back to painting with you, young man. Whoa, what's that? What happened there? Oh, we'll never know. Didn't even work, what the heck? Fine, the game's not letting me cheat, that's fine. Maybe we can just keep painting more goddamn paintings, huh? How's that sound? How about a large classic painting? That sounds fun, doesn't it? I'd give him a cat, but I don't want to have to make, like, 15 raccoon skin. That's just not... Not what I'm about right now. What the heck? 
He painted without me. He wants to paint. This is excellent news. This means we're on the right track. My biggest gripe with this painting is that uh, it's very small and we want a large painting. Give us a large abstract painting. Glib, glibbo, gilbo. I named him something very strange and I can't even say it myself. So as you can see from Gilbo's, Glibbo's collection, uh, it's mostly the same painting over and over and over again, which is, it's fine, it's just very much an acquired taste, like, you know, they talk about the fine arts and things like that, you got your Monet, your uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, um, fucking the Dalai Lama, I don't know, but are they, they all, Everyone's always like, oh, all those aren't, it's just not good. And to that I say, yes, you're correct. But Glimbo, his art is like just universally excellent. You know, if Jesus came back, I'm sure he'd turn, take a look at what Glibbo's created right now. And he'd say, wow, Glibbo, you're better than me, Jesus. Now, as is tradition, on this channel with some of my Sims uh, gameplay videos, I think it's time that we uh, kill, uh, kill our little friend, Glibo. It's not to say that he hasn't had a good run and that he hasn't made some excellent paintings, but it's just, you know, it's the circle of life, and it moves us all through despair and hope, through faith and love. Uh, so they say, at least in some corners of the world. Now I've locked him in a, in a picket fence, just outside of his basement, where uh, he's gonna... Well, when the sun rises in a few hours, he's going to burn to death. Because, uh... Goblins, being magical creatures, uh -huh. cannot handle the scientific might of a naturally occurring star, such as our sun. He's burning. He's burning off. Oh my god, Glimbo. And he's hungry. Jesus, this is morbid. That's the one big problem with the Sims. Hey, oh, Mr. Sim. Oh, oh, he's dead. Fluffy, storm! That was the worst thing I've ever seen. It was terrifying. I feel genuinely bad. Death is here. He's on his phone again. Clip <laughs> on. Shit. Anyway. Thanks for watching this episode of The Sims. This might have been a shorter one. Uh, but, you know. You gotta do what you gotta do. Especially Glibbo. He had to die. That's what he had to do. Uh, yeah, so, tune in next time.